Hi there, I'm Francesca Ordonio Hollingsworth and I'm your Prosperity Path Guide and I help you learn how to read your Prosperity Path. And today I'm going to share with you one of those divination pathways and that is through astrology. To start, I'm going to tell you a story and it is Beauty, the inside story of Let Your Natural Radiance Shine. Which is it? Pink or blue? Crossed or straight? Whispered Eddie. It's not white, said Lizzie. Oh, that means, yep. Yeah. Okay, shall we? And that's the question. What shall we, you, I do? every moment of the day you have to choose how you want to respond to your news and that is what 2018 has for you because two sorry 2019 has for you because 2019 is coming down the pipeline with big expansive abundant energy so, the question is, how are you going to respond next year to 2019 energy? Yeah. But before we go into any details about that, um, I want to let you know what is this coming full moon on December 22nd have for you. So, take a moment and close your eyes and take a deep cleansing breath and imagine at the base of your spine you have a cord and go ahead and take that cord down to the earth sending it down deep into the ground all the way to the center of the earth and now imagine you are going to collect all of your stress with your breath and take a deep cleansing breath bringing it up the back to the top of the head down to the tips of your fingers down to the base of your spine and sending out your stress through your grounding cord. Take another deep cleansing breath and when you're ready go ahead and open your eyes and we'll begin with this Lunation pod, not podcast, video. Okay, so we have the Sun in Capricorn and the Moon in Cancer. And I forgot to say that remember last, if you happen to have seen my last YouTube on November, for November 22nd, I mentioned that the sun and the moon were at zero degrees. Yeah, that magical, mystical, nothing and everything number. The restart button, the zero point, the energy of being able to see the seen and the unseen, looking at the positive and the negative from a place of neutrality. Yes, that magical, mystical number is happening again with this full moon. Yeah, this is going to be the second of five lunation full moons at the wonderful, mystical, magical zero degree. So we have Capricorn at zero, we have the sun in Capricorn at zero degrees, the moon in Cancer at zero degrees, which makes this a very nurturing, healing, mothering light for us to be lit under, to show our brilliance, our natural brilliance. Yeah. And the voice that the sun will be speaking with is literally asking you to come from a place of being and light up your naturalness. Because if you don't, you might find yourself in that shadow vibration of self-obsession. And on the opposite end, we have the moon reflecting its light back at us. And that reflection is all about magnetism. It is asking you to express your naturalness in order for you to magnetize what it is that you want, what it is, and bring in the people that you want 
in your life that bring you happiness, joy, and fertility to grow and be your natural beautiful being? Yes. Can you believe that this nurturing full moon has the vibration of magnetism in order to bring out the fluorescence and the beauty of you? And if you don't want to go within, reflect your magnetic light, the light that you will be sending is one of dullness. So if you happen to find yourself in a place that you feel mm, not so, not just not so great that you don't shine, reach inside and say hello to your naturalness. Yeah, because the doorway, the portal for this energy to come to you more naturally is there with this coming full moon on December 22nd. Now, there are a few planets in play on this particular full moon. And the one I want to mention to you is, one is, I got it, just took me a minute, Mars. And Mars is at 23 degrees. Am I reading this one correctly? Yes. Mars is at 23 degrees in Pisces with, we have Neptune at 13 degrees in Pisces along with Chiron at 27 degrees Pisces. Well, Pisces is the sign of the intuitive, the inner insights. So what they're doing is they are pointing with tension. All those three little got, not little, big huge planets are hanging out together very close in the same vicinity pointing with stress towards both the sun and the moon at opposite ends. And what does that mean to you? It means that through your dreams, that with a 23 degree Mars of action is asking you to take action to manifest your dreams and heal your wounds through the vibration of nurturing your inner magnetism and shining the light of your natural being. So I do have a couple of tips that I can give to you to help you manifest your dreams in this way is one, be nice to yourself. Yeah, we often learn to blame ourselves and Instead of that, instead of beating yourself up, which the mind often likes to do, be nice to yourself. The second thing to do is doubt. If you're in doubt, ask the question, and ask the and this is the important part. part ask the question that leads you to your truth, not to someone else's truth. This is a very, very important part because we often believe other people's truths are ours. So the vibration that's available to you is actually through the gateway of doubt. You may doubt something, so you ask the question and you lead yourself to your truth. And the third vibration is in relationship to healing. So we are currently kind of in this turbulent energy right now and know that this turbulence is really here for a purpose. And the reason we have this turbulence is in order to heal. And the purpose of healing is through to create harmony, to go to, and you get that through compassion. So those are my three tips for you. Understand that the turbulence that are occurring now in your life, if they are, are there for a purpose to lead you to harmony so you can experience compassion. And number two, be nice to yourself. And number three, if you get 
into doubt, just ask the question and it will lead you to your truth. If you dig deep inside and connect to your inner magnetism and bring out your natural being. Okay? And that is it for now for this last full moon. And because it is our last full moon, I am going to do the moon manifestation. So you can manifest the life of your dreams and get ready for 2019. Oh, which I just forgot. Yeah, I needed to let you know that I am doing my Prosperity Path 2019 seminar on January 1st at noon. Right now, it's only $27 up until December 23rd, at which time it will go to $97. So my recommendation is sign up now. And if you sign up before December 15th, which is like just around the corner, you are guaranteed a 15-minute consultation with me and I'll read your astronumerology for the purpose to prepare you for 2019's Prosperity Path. Yeah. So how you can do that is go to my website at innerbeautyhealing.us. That's Inner Beauty Healing Us. And go to the Seminar tab. And right under the Seminar tab, you'll find the Prosperity Path Seminar tab. Click on that and click. Go on, find the pretty pink button, and you can register. Cool. And for now, we're going to do my, my moon meditation. Okay? Ready? Here we go. Close your eyes and take a deep cleansing breath. And make sure that you're still connected with your grounding cord to the center of the earth. And imagine from your third eye, which is down in the center between your eyes, you create a screen right in front of you. And on this screen, I want you to paint your world, the one that you want to unfold, the one that you want to manifest. And as you paint this beautiful world from the palette of your soul, bring in the senses, the smells, the energies that you wish to bring out which is connected to your natural genius that magnetizes what it is you wish to bring into your life. And as you paint this beautiful picture, go ahead and encase it into a beautiful pink bubble, one which you can see through, that's covered from both sides and the top and the bottom. Now I'm going to ask you to imagine you have a white channel from the top of your head connecting you to the universe. And in this beautiful white channel of brilliant white light, go ahead and place your world that you have encased in this beautiful pink bubble and go ahead and release it up, up, up into the heaven for you to manifest with the energy of love, life, and happiness. Have a beautiful, wonderful, full moon, the last one for 2018, and much blessings to you for 2019. Bye for now.